Tuesday. My name is Chris Souza, fitness officer from King Campus. Uh, today's just me. We're going to be going over meal prep strategies. Um, so this is kind of a, a, a quick a quick run through of, uh, of a, a topic that we go through um, in our meal prep course. Uh, so it's going to be quick, but if you do want to get more information um, or kind of a longer explanation, jump onto our archive and it has uh, all the meal prep workshop sessions on it so you can kind of dive deeper into this because uh, today is going to be super quick. Um, we're just going to touch on different meal prep strategies. So meal prep is a pretty vague word. Um, we actually break it down in that workshop. So today we're just going to talk about three different methods of, of meal prep. Um, they're all different. They all have their pros and cons. The best thing to do is try them all out and see what works for you. That's what's going to lead to the highest chance of complacency or like making it into a habit. Um, so I'll just go through them all. The first one, um, which is the, the, the one that I'm doing right now, is called batch prep. So what you do is you actually cook um, everything all at once and you store it in your fridge in separate containers. So you're gonna have a container of your proteins or alternatives if you're vegetarian or vegan. You're gonna have a container of your grains, which could be rice, pasta, stuff like that. And then you're gonna have a container uh, of all your veggies, okay? So usually you have some pretty, you know, three to four big containers. You store that in the fridge and what you do is you dish that out as you go. So because we're all working from home right now and studying from home, that's a really good option because uh, it saves you a lot of time. Everything's already pre-cooked um, sitting in your fridge and you just dish it out um, each meal of the day, okay? Um, that one though is uh, if you like your food fresh, it's not the best option because you're cooking it uh, ahead of time. Um, so just keep that in mind, there are disadvantages to it. Or if you need food on the go, um, it's tough too because you have to sit there and dish everything out. So that's the one I'm using currently because I am at home a lot. Um, I, I just have everything prepped in the fridge and ready to go to dish out on a plate uh, and I just pop it in the microwave. Uh, the second one is actually portion everything out, okay? So it's actually getting smaller containers. Um, so this is like a smaller can container that I would use. Um, you put everything in it for your whole meal. So I have my grains, my protein, and my, my veggies. Um, this one's a bit more expensive because you're buying um, containers for all your meals. So depending on how many meals you have a day times how many days uh, of prep you're doing, that's gonna equal how many containers you're gonna have to get, okay? With the bulk method, you're just getting a couple big containers and dishing them out. With the portion method, you're gonna have to get individual containers. So just keep that in mind. Um, you always wanna make sure you have enough containers. I use um, glass, but anything that's BPA free is fine to use. Just keep in mind if you are using plastics, uh, anything that does contain BPA, you want to keep that away from the heat. So it's not really a good idea to, to heat up your, your plastic in the microwave because it can leach chemicals into your food, um, potentially. So that's why I keep mine in glass. Glass is also very uh, easy to, to clean and it doesn't stain. Sometimes you can see those like marks from the pasta if we, uh, if we keep our food in, in plastic containers, they actually stain. So just make sure um, that whatever you pick is BPA free, easy to clean, and that you have multiple pieces of them, okay? Um, so batch cooking, the, the uh, portion method, and then we have our assembly method. So the assembly method is for people who really like fresh food um, and maybe want to switch up their, their, uh, their meals as they go. So the assembly method is actually just prepping all your ingredients ahead of time. Um, could be just chopping your vegetables, portioning out your protein, um, marinating your meats, and then um, same thing with your grains, making sure that your, your grains are stored and portioned and ready to go. Um, that one is a little more time consuming and you're doing more work um, as you go on through your week. Um, but if you don't like eating the same foods, if you want flexibility in your meals and you like keeping things fresh, then that's your go-to there because uh, you can kind of just make food as you go. Everything's prepped. Uh, you're not taking you know, an hour to cook a recipe. It might be you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes because everything's already prepped and ready to go. Um, that one, if you do have uh, time on your hand, is probably your best option if you like fresh food. So those are the three um, main, I guess the, the main uh, different meal prep strategies. Uh, there's, those are the three we go over in our, in our course. Um, again, if you, if you want to kind of dig deeper into each one of those and then kind of see a couple different meal options and examples, definitely go into the archive, look back into our, our classes and it, it uh, will give you a lot of information. This is kind of just, just the kind of the beginning. Um, but those are the three methods. See which one works for you. There's no point in like following one that you see on Instagram. You want to make sure that it actually 
uh, suits you and, and, and your lifestyle and how you're using the food. So uh, give them all uh, a try and see which one works best for you. If you have any questions, let us know. And we hope you're well. Be well. Take care.